I've always wanted to go to the desert. I love those vast landscapes, those big open landscapes where you feel so little and everything feels just possible. Everything feels possible in the desert. My name's Ant, or Big Anton, and I travel because there is a wide, wide world of experience and places that uh, uh, we need to see. To expand my perception. Put me out of my comfort zone a little bit. Oh, I love travelling. Have done since my first overseas trip with my parents. I'm interested in history a lot, so I get into the history of different countries. Feeling the elements, being one with nature, grounding. Grounding's a big one. <laughs> to live firsthand what you read about and what you see about and seems to be a world away from um, your own life. To reach into a part of my soul that, you know, is hard to access in any other way. This holiday came up as a bit of a take me while you can opportunity. So that is why I embarked on this trip. It's day one and I think everybody might be a little bit nervous to ride their horses. You're all so excited because you're in Africa and you're gonna go ride. The ethos of this ride would be speed and space. It means going like the clappers. I'm a big desert plains, not many people out there, just whooping it up, get in touch with you know, cowboy chaos. It's fantastic. I am getting all those buzzy feelings about doing what I love. Day one thoughts. Excited. Couldn't get any better. Very excited. <laughs> the spare horse just top bolted past me and farted at the same time. He got a fright and I think I'm sure he gave me a couple of bucks. Anyway, cowgirl, hang on. Ciao. I love rides where it's completely different from a home landscape. So this is, this is just phenomenal. I mean, I think I described it in the message home as beautiful but harsh. Magnificent colors, magnificent scenery. It's incredible. Every day, every hour is different. There was just multiple wow moments every day. Every day. There was no there was no one day that was the same and nothing in that day was the same. Just the vastness. It's a lot on your body and a lot on your, your mind to just go, OK, yeah, we're going to get through this and experience the scenery around you as you're cantering along. that the desert changed all the time. Everything from just flat plain with absolutely nothing on it to these mountains, to canyons, to sand. The red that is reflected across that desert early morning and, and early evening, it's just, you don't see that anywhere else. It's, it was just stunning. We have a race today um, and it's a standing start. Kate's one of those people that needs to have the confidence booster, so you let her get in front. Laura's quite sensitive as well. 
Joel's looking at a world champion horse here. No one's right, no one's wrong, they're just different. They're all the fastest. Five minutes ago, you said to me, there's a race, but I am bringing the saddlebags because I think it's unprofessional not to. And I've just seen you stash the saddlebags <laughs> in the chimney. Once again, yes, little women of the prairie. prairie. Yeah, hi, Tool. Status grey haired women <laughs> on the prairie. A little longer than a few minutes later. That, that was our day. I was filming the race and then my hat flew off and I was showered in rocks. So it was, there was too much going on. I, I lost. Wow. She's officially the queen of the desert now. We took out the boys. Fair and square. Thrashed by an Aussie girl. I'm going to go and lie in the fetal position and suck my thumb. I guess the highlight for me was the horses. I can't, they are, they are amazing. He is the most beautiful horse in the lineup. He's a satellite like me on the outer edges. They just give and give and give. They're such generous creatures. He loves to give you bites, but I call them love bites. I said, it's okay, you just gotta be close there, mate. <laughs> My little Flintstone, he was, he was very cute, uh, had very little personal space, um, so his manners possibly need a little bit of work. He really just listened to what I needed for that ride. He's just been, don't you gonna make me cry already? <laughs> <laughs> He's just, he's just been, um, yeah, carried me beautifully. They're very brave, fit horses. These horses are like nothing I have ever ridden before. No, those horses are desert horses. They know how to get up and go when they need to, and they're fit, and they're strong. I thanked her every day, and... <laughs> That's silly. And I told her to look after the next person like she looked after me. She was amazing. There's a gift in having a really long, immersive ride, and I really feel that. Like, everyone gets into their rhythm and they pack up their camp and then they come over and have a coffee, and uh, it just, yeah, it makes me smile from the inside out. Just loved, I loved the camping aspect, like the unity around the campfire, having a laugh, the socialising. Uh, obviously, the horse riding is the big, the big draw card, but it's the smaller details for me, like, socialising with people from all around the world and just around a campfire, eating amazing food, having a laugh and a joke. You have all this, these highs and lows, both mentally and physically throughout the ride. You get to the last day, you get to the end, you see the ocean, you know that you've completed it. There's a sense of fulfilment. There's also a sense of, can we keep it going? I don't know, it just makes you feel alive. And if I was here in Africa, galloping on horses next to a giraffe in the wild. There's nothing humanised about it. And Kate was riding next to me and I think I looked over at her and I was like, so, so glad she came into my life. Um, she's just um, taken me on some amazing journeys um, and journeys of self-discovery. It's not like doing a marathon where the main aim is to get to the end. I didn't think of it like that. I thought of it each hour, each part of the day, experiencing where you were and what, where you were in the desert. So I kind of looked at it as more the journey day by day rather than the achievement of completion.
The veggie option is in the bag. <laughs>